Hey everyone, welcome back to Learn with Maktu. Today in this video, we are going to see for standard EVS lesson number two, that is honey sweet honey. In this lesson, we are going to learn different behavior of animals, the process of collecting honey, and what are the different uses of honey. So let's start the lesson. Starting with behavior of animals. So animals live among us and show unique behaviors, right? Like you can see here, ants always work together while carrying the food, right? And cats showing love to their kittens. Then dogs fighting for the food. Or maybe the birds which are flying in flocks. Monkeys attaching to their mothers and teaching chicks how to find the food, right? So here you can see different behaviors, right? And also some of the animals like to live in groups and few of them prefer to stay alone. So based on that, we can say there are like group living animals like deer, elephants, bees and ants. And there are animals called as solitary animals which want to stay alone like tigers and leopards, right? So now, so one of the group living animal that is bees. So that we are going to see in this lesson as the lesson name is honey sweet honey. We are going to see more about honey bees, okay? Bees live in this large structure. We call it as a hive right so bees live in large families inside their hive now bees collect nectar that is something which they will get it from the flower okay and that nectar they are going to convert it into honey okay so when i say bees there are different types of bees in the hive which are those first one is a queen bee the work of the queen bee is to lay the eggs and another type of bee is a worker bee which will do the major of the work like building the hive, collecting the nectar and taking care of the queen. Hope you are getting. So let me repeat this. So bees live in large families inside the hive and they collect the nectar and convert it into honey and the two types of bees, one is the queen bee and another one is the worker bee okay then now how bees make a hive and honey so bees produce something called as a wax and that wax is used to build the hives okay you should remember this word wax which is used to build the hives okay now hives are found on tree branches buildings and rocks you may have seen right in some of the tree branches, there will be a group of bees which they have built their hive on the branch of the tree, right? And now bees collect the nectar from the flowers or you may have seen bees will be sitting on the flowers, right? What they will be doing? They will be sucking the nectar from it and they will store that nectar in the form of honey in their hive, okay? So you can see this picture, right? Moving on. So now the honey concept, if we study, there is something called as a pure honey and an impure honey. So how to test the honey, whether it is pure or not. So what you can do, you can take a glass of water, add two to three drops of honey to it. So when it settles down slowly with the water, it is called as a pure honey. If it mixes quickly with the water, it is impure honey. Hope you got it. If it is mixing with water very quickly, it is impure. Okay, moving on. Now comes the uses of it. So what are the products we get from the hive or the uh, honey? So firstly, the honey, uh, which is used as a food and the medicine. Okay and the wax which is there that can be used in the preparation of candles, ointments and polish. 
and apart from that whatever the b products we get it is used in the preparation of paint and ink okay you can say this picture you can understand right now there are some points which is given in the textbook those you should remember bees help pollinate the flower so there is a word called as pollinate you will learn about this pollination in the higher classes for now you just remember this word and ants improve the soil quality for the plant growth hives nest ant hills termitaria and spider web all these are called as the wonderful constructions of the animal kingdom the ant which carries a leaf on its back to protect itself from the sunlight so you may have seen in cartoons right there will be some ants which will be holding the leaf to protect themselves from the sunlight so those ants are called as umbrella ant or soba ant okay so hope you understood the lesson right so that's all about this lesson honey sweet honey where we have seen the different behavior of the animals and we have seen about the honey bees right you should remember like they suck the nectar and uh, prepare the honey and they will be preparing the honey with the help of the beehive right so and it is made up of wax and there are two types of bees that is queen bee and the worker bee the majority of the work will be done by the worker bee whereas the queen bee will just lay the eggs right and you should be remembering the uses like where honey is used as a food and a medicine and wax is used for the preparation of candle ointments like that so these all things you should remember if you are not understanding just go through the lesson one more time and also read the textbook if any queries just put it in the comments i will try to answer okay so fine then i'm going to see you in the next video till then take care goodbye